welcome to Northampton again and it's episode 32 of Rate the Darts venue and today's venue is the Five Rivers well we're just off of uh, Leicester Street there's no Leicester Square I'll tell you that well I almost can't believe my eyes here I've got an internet cafe and it's open oh no it's a barber okay it's a barber maybe it used to be an internet cafe I was going to say but we've, I've lost 20 years walking down the street but yeah let's let's head into the take a look inside the five rivers let's take a look inside Okay, time to analyse the board, and it's a Winmow Blade 4 here at the Five Rivers. And now I do believe this is the first Blade 4 we've seen in the series, so very interesting. So this board was most likely top of the range at its point of release. And yeah, I mean, you can see it, it, it is a good board in terms of the wires, lack of, lack of metal around the, the doubles and the trebles. The, the bullseye looks quite quite heavy, quite thick there, the metal, or perhaps it's just wear. The board is, it's old in terms of its condition, a bit worn. Uh, we've since seen the release of the Blade 5 and 6, so, you know, it's a good few years old, this board. It looks like it's been rotated. The wear's quite even all around the board. And I'm gonna say for board quality, it's a six out of 10. Right, time for value watch. Well, already made a lot of progress with that pint of Foster's, but there'll be a few more pints of Foster's potentially in the tank because they're only three pounds 90. Fantastic price, absolutely brilliant. But I know what you really wanna know. How much for the prawn cocktail? At long last. Don't think it's the first time in the series. May only be the second or third time in the series. We've found crisps that do not exceed one pound sterling in cost. They are exactly one pound, four pound ninety. Change from a fiver. By all means, drop a comment if you think this is too generous, but for value, it can only be for me a ten out of ten. Well, one of, one of the um, one of the locals just on his way to the toilet stood and watched me throw a few darts, and he said to me, "You're no Luke Littler, are you?" Now, I'm just wondering what the subliminal message there is. Obviously, obviously he means you're shy to darts, which I am. But I'm just wondering, does that mean he thinks I look young? I mean, I'm in my forties. Is he picking out Luke Littler because he's so young, or just because he's? The name on everyone's lips. But yeah, he's right, I'm no Luke Littler. But by the way, this pub's no Buckingham Palace either. Look at this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough decor around this side, I've got to be honest, but the rest of the pub, which I'll show you now, is, is actually much better. I think this is the, the slightly neglected end um, by, the, by the dartboard. I think it's the less frequented end of the pub. Pretty sure my work had chairs like that. Long gone. And uh, some of the clutter here is just fantastic. I mean, it looks like we've got provision for, for food, but I assume it's just for the staff. This is not the sort of bar where they would have food and they don't. Got an old TV there, but out of commission. Got a kettle. So yeah, it does seem to be a, a kind of working kitchen, but quality street. I think it's just for the just for the staff, I think. But hey, nothing wrong with that. But if we take a little look through here, you'll see the the area for the pool table, and it is it is pretty cool. Uh, one pound I gave my pool, but it's, yeah, it's a. It does seem to be a better area. 
a little blackboard there. We need that round by the dartboard. Goodness, I didn't think there'd be a cocktails menu here. Bloody hell. Yeah, you can see it's a it's a nice bar. It's a nice bar. It's nice around this end. I've got to be honest. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a a cracking venue to be honest. Um, it's one of those niche old school pubs. It's just just unique. I mean, look at this. We've got a little machine here for the sweets. Ring John if any problem. Spelt problem wrong. So there's the problem. And the other problem is my darts don't go where I want them to. So how are you going to help me, John? Okay, darts setup time. Well, this table is ludicrously placed. Um, there was actually someone sitting on that chair when I first got in. I didn't ask him to move, I thought I'll leave him to finish his beer and if he goes for another beer I'll ask him politely to move and he, he didn't, he finished his pint and then he went. But uh, with all the space we've got around here, it makes me wonder who those tables need to be there. I think it's one of those pubs where the dartboard is not necessarily the main attraction. The pool table's in a much better area, to be perfectly honest, within the bar. But that's fair enough, maybe not many people play darts here, but I mean, can you retrieve your darts? You can, of course you can. Walking past the table now, you can absolutely retrieve your darts, but um, I'm not a good darts player, but I just I find it off-putting having furniture sitting in front of you as you're as you're playing. That's just me. Um, we've got a, a surround. It's, it's probably the worst dart surround I've ever seen, actually. Um, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. A, a surround is there to serve a purpose, and it's certainly serving its purpose well. I mean, look at that. I mean. Buy a new surround, folks. I'm tempted to buy you one myself. But yeah, the surround's there, that's the main thing. Now, you'll be thinking what I'm thinking. The lighting is terrible. And I'll be honest, I had a point, another point deducted for the lighting. But I did find this switch. So let's reinstate that point for the lighting. We've got some piercing lights here, right on the board. Can't argue with the lighting there at all. No scoring provision whatsoever. There's no chalkboard anywhere near. Certainly no electronic scoreboards. So, yeah, I think all things told for... Ah, okay. Now, this is interesting. There is an okay. It's quite clear where to stand. It's another one of these metal strip okies. So that's fine. I tell you what, I feel like this is too far back. I know you can't really tell but just from from your vantage look at watching this video do you think this is too far back I am stood on the okay now with my arm outstretched in a normal fashion um, that's how much floor there is between the okay and the wall it might just be me I, I did kind of roughly measure it out it seems like it does feel like seven and a half eight foot but I've thrown a few darts bloody hell feels absolutely miles away but anyway I'm rambling on for dart setup it's a six out of ten I'll tell you the music was pretty good when, when I first got in here but it, it seems to have gone a bit west back 100 BC this music but look at this table Absolutely. Well, firstly, I do like these chairs, I've got to say. I think I've found the smallest table I've ever seen. Absolutely love it. I mean, how can I... Can, it probably doesn't look that small. I mean, look, I don't have a big hand. It's taken up a big proportion of the table. Let me show you by, by darts how small this table is. So 
for back to back darts, including the flight. It's more than three darts. It's an absolutely tiny table. Newcastle Brown Nail, goodness me. But yeah, one of those pubs, it's nice to get away from the old the chain pubs, the Green King and all that. I think I was a bit was I was a bit unsure about this venue if I'm being brutally honest. Looked a bit rough, weren't sure about it. I've got to be honest. Been pleasantly surprised. Everyone in here seems really nice and friendly and for general atmosphere and environment. It's a seven out of ten. Challenge now here, and there's all that remains at the Five Rivers, Northampton Town Centre. I do feel as if I'm miles away here. Yeah, it's a strange one. I mean, I've, I have I've unscientifically measured it, and it does feel just under eight foot away, but I feel like I'm an absolute mile back. I don't have a tape measure on me. Well, that fifth dart, I thought it was in, I maybe had a couple of beers too many. Rubbish. It's another episode without a single digit out. The double top challenge. I'm starting to get concerned. <laughs> Darren is mounting here at the Five Rivers and 15 darts in. Double fives than anything else in this scene. Twenty four darts down. There we have it. Dart number twenty five. I want to apologise for the music, but I'm not the proprietor. Dart twenty five. Another absolute howler of an episode in terms of the double top challenge the average will be across the screen so um yeah in summary here it's uh six out of ten for the setup six out of ten for the board ten out of ten for value seven out of ten for general atmosphere and environment and it's 29 out of 40 Five Rivers, Northampton Town Centre. See you in the next one. Okay, still got an outstanding prize for someone to win. Um, a few weeks later than intended, but we've got nine names on this random wheel here. Nine people that commented on episode 26 video, which was Sixfields, Northampton. And this prize is in some ways sponsored by the previous winner, Brian Nichols, who has very kindly sacrificed his prize. Now the prize is, it's a, as I said, a, a couple of drinks on me. It's just a, a small voucher, gift voucher for Green King, of which there are many, many, many hundreds, 800, 900, I think, outlets in the UK. But how insular of me to assume that most of the viewers of this video, these videos would be UK based. But Brian is watching from Maine, USA. So very cool and humbled to think that people are watching from so far. And of course, 
I welcome that and the prizes are not for UK viewers only, of course not. But had a, a really good few emails back and forward with Brian and yeah, it was gonna be a ball week, so yeah, top man. He um gave that prize up, so thanks again, Brian. Hopefully you're still watching. But uh let's get the winner then of this particular prize. Let's spin the wheel. It's a one take spin. And the winner is the winner is the Donis. So the Donis, email me at diabolicaldarts at gmail dot com, and I'll reply with your voucher. Thanks again for watching.